Hey everybody, it's Tuesday afternoon and it is time for Facebook Live. Let's see, I'm gonna adjust my camera a bit so that you don't see all the weird stuff around. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great afternoon. Um, it's been a busy day here. I'm waiting for a Stampin' Up! order to come so I can start prepping my geared up garage class. I um, am very excited about it. We I had a great response. So thank you all who ordered the geared up garage class. Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. Um, I have something fun to talk to you about today. Hopefully you saw my announcement this morning about the new products coming from Stampin' Up! on April 1st. I'm gonna chat with you a little bit about that before we start stamping. Um, if you'll forgive me, I didn't open my iPad <laughs> to get us um, so I can see your comments better. When I see them pop up on my phone, I can only see like two at a time and I don't want to miss anything important. You know, I'm always totally prepared and then like two minutes before it's time to go live, something like I forget something or I go do something and then I'm like two minutes late. So <laughs> it's always something around here, you guys. Okay, so the my product this week, my product of the week is the piece of cake stamp set with a coordinating punch. Now these have been highly sought after. Um, the, they are in the occasions catalog that came out in January and within about three or four weeks, Stampin' Up! sold through way more inventory than they could have even predicted, which is awesome, which means you guys love this. Unfortunately, they had to turn it off. It couldn't. We couldn't order it for a long time because um, it was. It, they come from China, and there's a whole transportation issue, whatever. Um, but they came back, and they were in stock last week, and they're already on back order again. But don't worry, I just checked the inventory status report. There are six thousand coming to the warehouse in April. Six thousand, and. Um, you you can still order it right now. They'll ship it to you when it gets here in a couple of weeks, okay? Um, I didn't wanna, ch just because it's on back order, I didn't wanna change my projects because they're super cute and I've been dying to show them to you. So you can still order it, just know it's gonna take a couple of weeks. Um, once it gets into the warehouse, they have to process it, get it in the where you know, in the, the picking line and all that. So, but it is on back order again, but you can order it. So that's a di that's different than a month ago when we couldn't even order it. Okay, so that's our our focus today, and also on Friday over on my group page, I'll be doing three more projects. Um, today we're going to make a mini album. Uh, well, I call it a mini album, but it's really designed as a card gift card holder. But it could also just be a mini album, okay? And it features some of the designer series paper that is a free pick during celebration um, and I haven't used that paper at all so I'm excited to, to use it today with you guys um, let's see what I want to remind you about real quick before I flip the camera over celebration ends in five days Sunday okay Sunday's the last day you can get your free stuff um, if you if there if there's anything on here that you wanted to get for free do it by Sunday. Um, those stamp sets are gone for good. They don't carry over. Now the things on this list in the annual catalog, those will still be there. You can purchase them after the um, 31st, but the things in here, um, you can only get for free until the 31st and then they're gone, like gone. The designer series paper, that cute, that uh, cute, Botanical butterfly paper, gone forever. Um, the tea time framelits, those are a level two choice. Those are gonna be in the next annual catalog. So if you're having a hard time deciding on what to get, just know that you'll be able to get those later on when the annual catalog comes out in June. Um, the other part of that is that the starter kit is always an amazing special. Normally during the year you get uh, $26 in extra free merchandise, but during celebration you actually get $75 or $76 worth of free celebrate uh, free product of your choice. Um, there's two levels. Level one is $99, free shipping, which is a really good part. You pay $99 and you pick $175 in product from either the occasions or annual catalog or even the clearance rack. Um, the second option is $129, same deal, you pick out $175 in product, but you also get the highly sought after 
craft and carry tote. I love mine. It's super cute. They will not be selling this. It's the only way to get it is to buy that starter kit before Sunday. Now, the starter kit's an amazing deal, but one of the, the best benefits of buying the starter kit and joining my team is that then you get 20% off of all your Stampin' Up! orders. It's like having that 20% off coupon, you know, when you go to a store and you cut the, the coupon out, you print it out, take it with you. You'll, after you buy the starter kit, you'll be able to use that 20% on all your purchases, which is really great, right? I think that's why the majority of us bought the starter kit in the beginning. Um, so the new product that's coming out on April 1st, I'm gonna flip the camera and show you in a second. You'll be able to, if you buy the starter kit this week, you get a whole bunch of free stuff. And then next week, or the week after, or the week after that, you can get this new product at 20% off with your demonstrator discount. Hello, that's an amazing deal, right? Um, and that discount will take you all the way until April, May, June, the end of June. Actually, July is a pending month, so really all the way till the end of July. Okay, if I have a coupon, I use it. And I know you guys would use that 20% off discount too. Hi, Betty. Oh, can you even see it? Thanks. It's long sleeved. She says she likes my top. It's long sleeved and we're about at the very end of long sleeve weather here in South Texas. Today's probably pushing it. If I go outside, I'm gonna have to change. <laughs> long sleeves are done here in South Texas. Okay, so just um, real quick before I flip the camera, here's this week's prize. Who has not gotten this adorable bundle, the sweetest thing? One of my most favorite things from the occasions catalog. This is the prize. I will pick one person um, who shares today's video and I will pick your name randomly on Friday during my Facebook Live and you're gonna get the bundle, the stamps and the framelits. This is one of the things I hope, you know, in the occasions catalog, some of those things will carry over into the annual catalog and we don't know until we see it, but this is one of the things I am crossing my fingers. I hope that this carries over. One of my most favorite things. Okay, so let me flip the camera so I can show you this new product that we're talking about. Um, before I flip it, I want you to know it's a sneak peek. It is not available right now. It will not be available until April 1st. You cannot buy this and get celebration items. It's for after celebration, okay? Keep that in mind. There's no links, there's nothing I can send you to because it's not available yet. It's a sneak peek, okay? Okay, I'm gonna flip you around. Close your eyes. Don't look, I get crazy with my, my um, phone holder. So if I was to say, and I've told you guys, the most common question I get is where do I come up with my ideas? The second most common question I get is how do I store blank? How do I store my blends? How do I store my ink pads? How do I store my pencils? And Stampin' Up! obviously is getting that question quite a bit as well. So they are introducing storage by Stampin' Up! Look at it. It is beautiful, it's um, modular, it's very clean looking, and it's designed to sit on top of your desk. The best part of this is that you can build it into any combination, size, configuration that you want. If you have a very small space and you just need a little small bit, then that's all you order. If you're like me and you need an entire wall <laughs> full of pieces, then that's what you get. And if you're like me too and you have to buy a little bit out of at a time, that's what you do. So it's called, uh, again, Storage by Stampin' Up. I keep wanting to call it Stampin' Storage, but that's not the name. <laughs> Storage by Stampin' Up. It is plastic, it's not wood. It's plastic, a very sturdy plastic, and that keeps the price point down really low. I don't know if you guys can see, you would buy, um, it in little configurations, little boxes. So this one is an ink pad and marker storage tray set. So there's five trays in there and they stack $14. That's it, $14. Here's the Stampin' Blends storage tray, same thing, five trays, $14. Um, the open storage cube, so you can see up here they have taken a half size wood mount stamp case and put it in there, they probably have embellishments or whatever. Um, also, you can do your ribbon in there. You can do whatever you want in there. 
Um, that one's only $10. Now you can decide what lid you want that goes on top. Um, this open size um, top right here holds 20 of these. And then if you don't need that, you order the flat top. Okay, so that is storage by Stampin' Up! Available April 1st. Everybody, repeat after me. Available when? April 1st. It is not available during celebration. I know you would love to order this and get free stuff, but it's not available till April 1st. It's what we're getting excited about. Gives us something to be excited about when we're sad that celebration is over. But, like I mentioned earlier, if you buy that starter kit, become a demonstrator, even if you're just doing it for the discount, raise your hand, how many of us have done it? Yes, it's okay, we get it. If you buy the starter kit, become a demonstrator on my team, and you want the discount beginning April 1st, you can order this with your 20% discount. And hey, by the way, when you're a demonstrator and you put in an order, let's say I'm ordering a ton of this and it's up to $150, not only do I get my discount off of that, I then earn Stampin' Rewards, and if I got it up to the next threshold, to the uh, $450, I also get a half price item. Okay, so you don't lose those benefits when you become a demonstrator. You just get even more. You get a um, that 20% discount. All right, so April 1st, you can, again, make it as small or as big as you want. Yes, um, Sarah, that is going to be a very common question. These are not designed for the old stamp pads, the ink pads. These are designed for the new ink pads, okay? They will not fit the old ink pads. So if you have just started your collection of new ink pads, then you would just buy one set, right? One to hold um, however many colors you had. Okay, and as you collect those new ink pads, then you can or you can add on your second or third or fourth set of the ink pad holders, sets, trays. Um, this is brand new to me, guys. Read about it at 6 a.m. this morning, so I'm still learning the lingo. Be patient with me, okay? <laughs> We're very excited about it. Um, I think it's going to give you lots of options. It's going to help you keep your desk clean. I know when my desk is clean and organized, I am much more productive and much more creative. Are you guys like that? If my desk becomes a total mess, I begin to kind of shut down and everything's a mess. So if I find that if I get organized like this especially, I'm much more creative. Um, another thing to note on Monday, April 1st, the floral grid paper that we have is going to be available to, to order, $11.75, okay? And that those little grid papers are while supplies last. So if you want those, get those. On Monday, I'm going to send you guys all these links. Make sure you're on my email list. You'll get all the links to all of this. There's a great chart for you to you can fill out to figure out exactly what you need, how many ink pads you have, how many markers you have, how many blends, and it'll help you decide what to order, okay? And it gives you some examples here of how they build these. Um, they, they kind of joked in the video for the leaders yesterday that they stacked them 50 high. <laughs> they said, no, we don't necessarily recommend you do that, but it is possible to go 50 high. Um, I don't, I don't want to have to have a ladder to get to my top ink pad, so I'll keep mine at <laughs> just two or three, I think. Um, but so that's very exciting. Those are the details. Um, let's see. Did you guys ask any specific questions? It does not fit the old ink pads. They do not come in bundles. And when I say that, that's kind of confusing because one set of trays in my mind is a bundle of trays but but when i say it doesn't come in bundles what i mean is i can't say give me one item number for all of it like a you know like a group of all of it um not yet so that's that um this lid right here will hold 20 reinker bottles hopefully you guys have been collecting your reinker bottles um as you buy your ink pads by the way you need to start ordering your in-color re-inkers if you have not because we've got a retired list coming out in the middle of April and you know those five in-colors, the Fresh Fig, Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist. Oh, I knew I couldn't remember all of them. What is the other one? I'm even looking over there and I can't see. Oh, Tranquil Tide. Those are retiring, guys. So if you don't have your ink refills, your cardstock, your markers, make sure you get them. 
Okay, so all right, so you guys, if you're just joining, make sure you come back and rewatch all the, the um, details about the new storage by Stampin' Up! Available <coughs> April 1st, okay? Charlie says hello. I let him stay out today. I thought he would not be barking. He's a, He was snoozing in the sun. Looks like he, the joke's on me, I guess, for trusting Charlie. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about what we're making. Again, back to the bundle. Piece of cake, one of the most popular things in the entire occasions catalog that cannot keep the punch in stock. It's really cute. Good news is this is carrying over. This will be in the annual catalog, okay? Um, and I have shown you guys before, and I'll show you on Friday also when I do three more projects, how you can line your stamps up so that when you stamp, you can punch them out at the same time. Today, we're not gonna do any punching though. We're going to actually be making a, I don't know if I have the best name for it, a wedding gift card mini album, okay? And I am using the Petal Promenade paper, which is free with a celebration choice right here, Petal Promenade. It is in the annual catalog. I have not used it yet. I have had it for a very long time and I finally decided to pull it out and use it for a wedding. Isn't it beautiful for a wedding? So if your order today, tomorrow, before Monday, right? Um, by, the, by the end of Sunday to get your celebration item, if it's $50 or more, you can choose that 12 by 12 pack for free and I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. All right, so this is how this looks. You open the ribbon like this and then it opens like that. And my thoughts on this were, for a wedding, you know sometimes they'll say, they'll have like a poster board or whatever, they say, um, give the couple some, your best marriage advice or whatever. Um, you could do that on these little cards. You could write some words of wisdom, maybe one from you, one from your spouse, um, add a gift card to one and as their gift, and then maybe their photo over here something like that or if you're super generous and it's somebody super special to you you could do four different gift cards sign me up that's the gift i want <laughs> four different gift cards um now look at this side by side together stand heart to heart hand in hand a very special dream comes true beginning with the words i do isn't that beautiful this is from special celebrations and every time i use the stamp set i get Whoa, where's that from? I've never seen that. Um, you might have overlooked it. It's a really big sentiment set in the annual catalog. It's got some great sentiments in it. Um, some things that are more involved, you know, not just thank you, happy birthday. Um, so this one's a really good one. And if you were to get this and the cake bundle, I'm pretty sure you would be high enough to get your paper for free. Okay, so let's get this made. Now don't leave when I'm done because I've got another one of these in a different color to show you. And I've got a sneak peek of one of Friday's projects to show you. So my color, my colors kind of, um, sometimes colors will inspire me, you guys, not just a sketch or a photo, but I had scraps laying on my desk and it actually did not include this one, but I had scraps on my desk from last week's um, cat card, you know, the, the third one where the cat's sitting in the box and they were sitting on my desk and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to stick with this. And then it it dawned on me that those were the colors over in that petal promenade paper. So I pulled the petal promenade paper over and I saw, okay, well wait, we need a green too. So I pulled in that mossy meadow and that's how I got started on today's project. Um, lucky for us, Stampin' Up! does a great job with our designer series paper on the back of the the paper pack and in the catalog, it'll tell you exactly what colors are used in the paper. This is a photorealistic paper, which means these are photographs that they took. And there's a really neat video, I need to share it with you guys, showing how the artist, um, the concept artist at Stampin' Up! made this paper, it's really cool. Um, but these are actual photographs, photorealistic paper. Um, and so sometimes those colors are a little bit different than our colors, but I have found with this one, um, for the most part, and I did throw a, a melon mambo in here too, you'll see. Um, but um, you can look on the back of the pack, you can also look in the catalog, it'll tell you exactly what cardstock to pull out, what ink you need, and it'll all coordinate beautifully. Because you can see here, 
it all goes really well together. All right, so here's this petal promenade paper. And I will be honest with you guys, this was not my jam. In the beginning, I was like, mm, I don't really think I want to use that paper. Photorealistic paper, I sometimes have trouble with. I don't know, it, it throws me off. And this one, I was just like, this really isn't, I don't think I'm going to be able to use this. But I have used it several times in the last few days, and I am loving it. So there's this on one side, and then this on the other side. This is that bokeh kind of technique, that blurry photograph. Those are, we're using those two today. There's this one, which I love. This reminds me of those Ann Getty baby pictures. You guys remember that from the 90s? Um, I think I had a poster that looks similar to this or something. Um, so there's that. That's very pink. And look, I think we could, maybe that's what I, you know what? I think that is why I used Melon Mambo too, because that really is very pinky. Um, okay, so on the back of that one is a marbled. My two teenagers are obsessed with anything marbled. So when I saw this, I thought of them. Um, here's one that's more monochromatic pink flowers. And on the back, another marbled image, really on trend. This one, and you guys know me, I don't know names of flowers or plants, but it's that cabbage-y plant. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but more wintry. That would be really pretty for a winter wedding. Um, and then on the back, another marble. So they coordinate, look how well those go together. Then, so you got two sheets of each of those. Then you've got one that looks like this. You can cut these out and use these as pieces in on your scrapbook pages or on your cards. Um, and then the back is more of like a textured paint. And then this one matches with the paper that we're using. And on the back is kind of a crinkled foil. And you'll see this border right here. We're gonna use that. I thought that was really cool. And I didn't notice it the first few times I looked at this paper. Okay, so that is that. That's the paper. Those are the colors that we're using, and you can get this paper for free. All right, let's make our little mini album first. And keep in mind that you could make this longer if you wanted to make, if you wanted to add a few more pages into it. These are our note cards and envelopes. They're just called Whisper White Cards and Envelopes. And they come already scored like this and there's an envelope to match, okay? Now we're not gonna use the envelope, but here in a couple weeks, I will show you a project that you can do with the envelopes, okay? So don't worry, we'll use those envelopes if we're not using them the traditional way. You need three of these, all right? Three of these note cards, not the envelopes. All right, go ahead and burnish them and then get, sorry, I'm having to reach way over to get my adhesive. Now we're gonna, we're gonna adhere these kind of accordion style. And you wanna use a really good adhesive, like tear and tape, or fast views. I know it's gone, but I'm still using mine. And you guys, I still think I have like a year's worth left. I've got quite a bit left in there. All right, so I'm gonna start adhering these accordion style like that, okay? Overlapping like this there all right so now it's gonna be like that can you guys see how I did that now of course if you don't have the note cards you could make this out of cardstock just score in the middle and you know your measurements might be different but I like the ease of the note card okay so now let's do the front first actually mm, let me think yeah we'll do the front first it's, it's so hard for me to decide which order to go in um I have used the framelit set that I am using. Well, we're gonna get to that. Where is, I'm looking for, here it is, my Calypso Coral piece. By the way, all the measurements, you guys, are on my blog, it's already up. Um, there are quite a few measurements and I'm not gonna rattle them off while I'm doing it because honestly, I'll probably get them wrong. There are quite a few measurements, so go over there and find the measurements if you wanna make this. Calypso Coral first. Then, this is the front, then our designer series paper, but almost, almost did it. I almost made a mistake. Where's my ribbon? Before you put that on, get your ribbon. We want the ribbon to be sandwiched in. I can't believe I almost forgot to do that. All right, so just get, this is the, let me get you the official name. Oh, where is it? It's not on here. This is the Calypso, here it is, Calypso Coral. Oh, it doesn't tell me, it's a satin ribbon. Satin ribbon from the Occasions Catalog. All right, so lay it down there. You don't really even need to adhere it because the paper will hold it down. 
once you adhere your paper and then take it and you want to leave it long enough so that you're going to be able to tie a bow okay don't forget to do that part <laughs> i have a feeling i would forget all right now here's that piece this is the back of it and this is one and a fourth wide i think i put one inches on my blog which would work too so you're going to put that right there okay all right now let's make that cute little cake we're going to use memento black because we are coloring with stamp and blends and we're going to do the cake first and if you wanted to oh i just got my finger in that if you wanted to you could stamp these on separate paper and punch them out and then adhere them to the large whisper white stitched oval um, to give it more dimension but I thought that this kind of simplified things without punching it out. All right, now mine are not lined up. We're gonna pretend like I didn't do that. I didn't have my head right over it. Ah, I think it'll be okay. All right, now this stamp's so cute on top. Mr. and Mrs. Very cute. This would be a good one to use your stamparatus with if you wanna make sure you're getting those exactly lined up. And by the way, so piece of cake automatically you think birthday. Now it doesn't have to be birthday. Um, you can do, there's um, where's the sentiment? Enjoy every crumb. Well, that could be any treat you get, right? Enjoy every crumb. And then one I thought was really cute. Um, it says cake is the answer. Who cares what the question is? Well, that could be, you know, like thinking of you, like, I'm sorry, you're whatever, if someone's sad, because I, you know, cake will help. <laughs> um, then we've got little toppers, little um, lollipops, candles, there's a dripping cake, there's just all kinds of different cakes here. Those little flowers are cute too. Um, so don't just feel like you're locked in here with this as a birthday set. All right, here are our blends and I'm going to use Smoky Slate Light to color in first our well, that doesn't look very light. Oh yeah, to color in our cake stand. I'm very excited about the new storage by Stampin' Up, the Stampin' Blends, um, to hold the Stampin' Blends, it'll be great because you really should keep your blends horizontal. And I know a lot of us um, tend to throw them in a cup or, you know, like a little, um, Oh, you know, like a little bucket or something. And they're not supposed to be, um, they're not supposed to be stored that way. All right, so I just took my dark and just kind of added a little bit of dark there on the edges and under the pedestal, right there. All right. Now, the flowers. I'm only going to color the flowers in using, and actually we don't even need pumpkin pie, I was wrong, not pumpkin pie. We're just gonna use light and dark Calypso Coral. Now these flowers are so, so tiny. Do not try to get super fancy. It'll frustrate you, it'll be difficult. So just take your bullet tip end of your light Calypso Coral and color them in, okay? I'm, there's like a rose and then like a daisy. So the little daisy I did with the light and the rose I'm doing with the dark, but then I'm also gonna take the dark and color in the center of the little daisies. Now, I think on the supply list, I put old olive, which will work just fine, but I pulled out my Mossy Meadow Stampin' Blend since we're using Mossy Meadow cardstock. Just be very cautious if you have Mossy Meadow. They are dark, both of them. The light Mossy Meadow is very dark and the dark Mossy Meadow is really dark. So just use with caution. Old Olive would be fine too. They're very similar in tone. Okay, so there we go. That's all the coloring you needed to do. Not a whole lot, nothing crazy. We're going to adhere this onto the Mossy Meadow Scalloped Oval, which is from the Layering Oval Framelits. Now I'm gonna get a couple of dimensionals and adhere this. You know, I really like that dark green with these citrusy colors. 
it just really feel I feel like it really completes things I am not I'm not an orange person I mean if I had to rank the colors <laughs> in order from favorite to least favorite orange would be at the bottom but I really like these colors together um, these three citrusy colors I, I think that they're beautiful and I don't feel like they're just meh, orange okay now you know I was so organized but yet I'm not seeing all right let me grab it I think I put it in my scrap drawer yes here it is we're gonna use the leaf punch to punch two leaves from mossy meadow and I'm just gonna put them on with glue dots hello thank you for joining us I see all of you joining thank you don't forget to share the video so you'll be entered to win the bundle all right, so I put that there like that, and then we have the perfect embellishment. These little blossom elements, look, the color palette is perfect. So I'm gonna get the petal pink one and the Calypso coral colored one. And I kind of hoard those. I feel like, ooh, they're special. I don't wanna use them. But on a wedding gift card mini album, I think they are justified. They're very fancy and very cute. They're, they look like little photopolymer roses. All right, now I wanted to add a bow, but because we're gonna have this big bow on the side, it needed to be small. So I'm gonna take my burlap ribbon and cut off one long e edge. And if you guys haven't done this yet to your burlap ribbon, you really need to. It will give you these long skinny threads that are very rustic looking let's see just cut that edge cut the long one off and then you can pull them out like that and you've got a, I don't know maybe eight in there and then you've got it it's like um almost like hay or something it's real stiff and and just rustic-y I like it is rustic -y a word I'm not sure <laughs> rustic-y. I seem to use it quite a bit. Okay, now a glue dot and we'll put that there and it's just a little bow to give us some, a little, a little something something. Okay, all right, now let's make the pages for the inside and I'm actually going to do that outside of the album first. I think that'll make it easier. So what I have done, and I've done a lot of this ahead of time, I have cut with the, let me bring them over so you can see, the Be Mine Stitch Framelits. I use them pretty much every single week. These are the, they are in the Occasions Catalog. They um, are with the Valentine stuff. I have cut four of the stitched scallop borders. You guys know I love it from Melon Mambo. I have four pieces of cardstock, the same size as the one on the front. And petal pink and um, grapefruit grove petal pink grapefruit grove and then I've got these pieces of designer series paper see the back I've got four of these and these are going to form the little pockets right here now remember there's something else that we need and I think I've lost one of my little tiny pieces I don't know where it went um, remember this right here well we're going to cut this out and we're going to put it on top of here. So put your fussy cutting hat on and we're going to fussy cut. Now, normally I would cut the whole thing out and then measure it. But just for the video, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. I went along all the way down the paper and I'm not being real specific with this. I am cutting it out with a cloud if you will with a border around the images they are real images it would be very difficult to really cut them precisely so i'm not even going to try to do that i'm just going to go around the edge so let me hold it up so you guys can see see how i did that you can see it's not real specific but it follows the shape and it makes it look like shaped paper so now for each of these we're going to take some adhesive Put it across there and line that up up there at the top make sure i've got it on straight like that snip it off on the back to match 
bring over one of these little borders and put it right across there as well and snip and snip okay so we're gonna do four of those and look so you don't have to watch me fussy cut I did the whole strip ahead of time so now I'm just gonna assemble these this is so cute and I it's funny because I was like oh I'm gonna use it all up but isn't that why we buy paper to use it up I think it is so don't be afraid cut up your paper use it people will ooh and ah and then you'll just need to buy some more beautiful paper if you buy beautiful paper and don't use it you're going to run out of room and you won't be able to get any more new beautiful paper and you know if i look at paper pattern paper if i look at it for too long if it's sitting there in my supply for a while i get tired of looking at it and then it's not so beautiful anymore and then i don't want to use it because i've been looking at it for six months or a year or two years or three years whoa look at that so use your paper you guys use it all right we're almost there one more put that there and one thing that I haven't done that you probably want to do is line these up on your desk and make sure see how this one's a little bit shorter over here you want to get them all so that they're the same and I didn't do that and I noticed one of mine on my other one is a little bit off okay so now we've got all of our pieces. Oh wait, yeah, <laughs> I was like, wait, where did it go? It's the back. All right, so there we have those. Now we're going to just layer them on. And, but you know what, let's stamp the sentiment. Oh, I hope I left enough room for my stamp because it's a pretty wide one. Did I leave enough room? Just barely, okay. So make sure that you put that up high enough so you leave yourself enough room, okay? Because the sentiment's really neat and I like it. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Here we go. Hold your breath. Ah, <gasps> uh, I think it's kind of perfect. Look at that. All right, I was worried I didn't have enough room and it was exactly right. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna just adhere these Put adhesive on three sides and put that there and then you're gonna have these five or these four white pieces now ah, did I put too much adhesive my fast fuse is a little thick there we go see how that fits in there like a pocket I need to just put it on the edges with my fast fuse because it's too wide all right now I have a little bit more to add. Uh oh, look, we're not straight. That one's a little bit too big. Let's trim it. I have a little bit more to tr to add to one of these. So we'll do that in just a second, and then we'll add them to our little mini album. Now I have two of these. I've got. I wonder how many. You know, it's becoming. It's gonna. It's coming up on wedding season. Summer is wedding season. So now I've got two ready to go. These would be fun graduation too. You could totally change this and not put Mr. and Mrs. and put congratulations or something. And this could be graduation. And you could put like a little baby picture of the graduate and embarrass them and a gift card to, you know, like Target and one to, oh, I don't know. The laundromat or something <laughs> what a college what do college kids need I can't even remember these days okay so there we go we've got all four now I had did some die cutting ahead of time and I think I missed that I have lost that green piece I had it and now I've made a giant mess let me show you in my book what I'm talking about I cut out a flirty flamingo stitched heart in Flirty Flamingo and Grapefruit Grove. And then I cut that little green flower and I'll find it. As soon as I'm done with the video, I'll find it, but I don't know where it is right now. Um, let's see, what order are these gonna go in like that? So if you, if you hadn't lost your little cute little green flower, you would put that here with these. Did I use dimensionals? I can't remember. No, I did not, oh my. 
guess because we need to make sure we can close it. So one there, one overlapping, and then one more embellishment. These are the tropical elements. They go with the tropical paper, but I thought it looked pretty good with these. These are kind of tropical colors right there. Okay, now let's put our little pages in the pockets. And where's the last one? There it is. That little green flower is probably stuck to my foot or something. I'll find it. I'll find it when it's too late. All right, let's bring this back over. All right. Now let's start here and get the sentiment. I put that one right there. Use a really good adhesive. Snail is probably not gonna hold this stuff together because this becomes a little bit heavy. So you want to use a good adhesive. I would recommend tear and tape. Liquid glue might, might make things a little warped, you know, because it's liquid. All right, over here. See how I'm um, alternating the colors? Grapefruit Grove, Petal Pink, and then Grapefruit Grove again. And this one looks like it's off center. There we go. One more. Petal Pink. Like that. Oh, I don't like when they're wonky in their pockets. And there you have it. And it folds up like an accordion. And it is quite thick. It's not. I don't think it's going to fit in one of those envelopes. Oh, let's see. I need to pull my ribbon. See, I'm glad I didn't adhere that ribbon. It would have been one side too long. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining me. All right, so there. Yeah, you know, Facebook notifications just aren't even reliable anymore. I don't know what the deal is with Facebook notifications and letting us know when people are live. It's, it's not letting me know at all. My, my Facebook Live, the ones that I watch, not at all. I just have to set a reminder on my phone. Okay, so there we have it. Now wait, don't leave. I've got more to show you. So here they are together. That paper's gorgeous, isn't it? I love that color, that color scheme. Okay, now I made this um, back in December, and look, it's in a totally different color. This is the, oh, you know, the paper we used a couple of week, weeks ago, Happiness Blooms, and I kept it a little more simple. May your love grow sweeter with every passing year. Isn't that sweet? Is that, I don't know, is that from, hmm, yep, that's from the piece of cake right there, that stamp. That's actually from the piece of cake stamp set. And I rounded the corners there, so that's something that you could do. And I didn't, I don't even have a ribbon on this one. All right, so there's that. There's option, an option two. Now on Friday at two o'clock central over at Pink Buggeroo Stampers group, guys, it's a different Facebook group, so you gotta go over and join. I'll add the link up here in the description when I'm done. We're gonna make three more projects. And if you place an order between now and Monday at midnight using this host code, I'm gonna send you those three projects for free next week in the mail. So one of those projects is a little party favor. And this is actually, truth be told, my daughter is turning 12 on Saturday and we're having a middle school sleepover. You guys pray for me, please. I'm gonna have 12 year old girls spending the night in my house. I'm a little nervous. I'm not a fan of sleepovers at all, especially when they involve tweens. But anyways, these are gonna be their little party favors, and I'm gonna show you how to make this. There's that paper again, that other paper. Okay, so make sure you join me Friday at two o'clock. Hop over, join my blog. I mean, join my Facebook group, um, so you'll be able to see it and comment. Um, everybody's welcome, by the way. No qualification, no requirement. Everybody's welcome to join. Make sure you use that hostess code, and if you want your celebration, if you want this paper for free, it has to be by Sunday night. If you want my make and takes, your order can go in Monday night. So if you wanna order the new storage by Stampin' Up, wait till Monday, use this host code, and you'll get the make and takes for free as well, okay? All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope I will see you again on Friday at two o'clock. And let me know if you have questions, you guys. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.